Within the minds of men, there exists a place of evil. An evil place very far back in one's mind. And if it's meant to exist and emerge, it will. And when it does emerge, the terror it creates leaves damage beyond comprehension. And just a fraction of that evil encompasses the erasure of our own human history. All the facts are there and all the proof is ever so present. All you have to do is just simply open your eyes and look. Everything that has always been there is still here. Sadly, the eyes that you have now and what you use to gaze upon the world have been blinded and blinded with an evil spell that was cast upon you before you were ever even born. A spell that you had no choice in in order to doom you from the beginning and only give you a glimpse of a lie versus the entire vision of the truth while leaving no view of the future and no perspective of the past. How is it that we have slept? How is it that some are still sleeping? Why is it that we only wake now? Why weren't we awakened when it mattered the most? Or is it that maybe this is the time that does matter the most? And is it that maybe that's because we're approaching what's known as the end? The end of a new beginning. And so the story goes. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he saw that everything he made was good. This was a time when angels walked with God, but they sinned against him, and from heaven they fell to earth, never to return again. When the great dragon was thrown down, he became the ruler and the deceiver of earth. Upon the earth, they saw that the women of men were beautiful, and they took them as their wives and called them their own. And from them came the hybrid offspring known as the Nephilim. That race of giants roamed this earth for many, many years. And behind them, they left dwellings so big with doorways so large in order to fit them. And if you look around and just open your eyes, you might be able to see through the lies. Now let me ask you, do these buildings of great architecture and articulate design, do they present themselves as some and those that came from an age and an era that were supposedly less advanced than we are now? We can't duplicate these even today. And from here comes the biblical story of God being angry with all of the sinful things that were taking place upon his beautiful earth and then therefore he wiped out the world with a great flood. The same time he commanded his faithful servant, his friend, Noah, and commanded him to build the ark so that they may survive the destruction that was coming upon the world. And this, my friends, is where we find the end of the beginning and the beginning of a new ending. Don't you see? From there, God was at a loss so therefore, he gave men free will. free will. And sadly, some of that free will doesn't work out in our best interests because that free will given to others affects our own free will. Now, doesn't it? And out of the, minds, out of the of minds of men, there lives, there a, lives place a place of evil. of evil. Wait, hold up. This story doesn't end here. In fact, it's going to take some twists and turns and many things that you never saw coming and you never expected. Is it possible, is it possible that some that may, have, some one may have one underground? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Now, if Satan is the ruler and the leader of evil in the principalities of the air, don't, don't you, you think, think he's, he's still, still here? here? Are your, Are your eyes, eyes still, still wide, wide shut? shut? Are, Are they? they? Now don't think for one second that evil 
doesn't come in human form. Because, because it, it does. does. I bet, I bet you, you didn't know that Satan, Satan was one of the most powerful magicians that there ever was. He can make a grown man cry and a grown man die, but he can also make a grown man and sly. He can look like me and he can look just like you. He can fool everyone around you. It's, it's true. true. And sometimes things in this life have already been appointed and you never even had a chance to say so. You just you thought, just you, thought did. you did. Tragedy, sweet, sweet tragedy. tragedy, every which way you look. Don't think for one second it hasn't been manipulated because it, because has. it has. Bringing, Bringing you, you a custom, custom weather, weather forecast, forecast every, every single, single day. day. There is nothing new under the sun, my friends. But just wait, it gets worse. Because, because while, you, while were you were sleeping, while you while stayed, you stayed in, your slumber, in your slumber, the world, the world around, around you was rewritten, was rewritten right underneath, right underneath your, very your very nose. So if you haven't even questioned the narrative yet, hold on, because you're getting ready to. So buckle up, it's, it's going, going to be a bumpy, bumpy ride. ride. They've rewritten your history, and you, you slept right through it. Babylon, Babylon has fallen, fallen but the Babylon, Babylon will, will fall, fall again. again. So, so whose side, side are you on? Whose side, side are you on, on anyway? anyway? There's, There's not, not much time left. It's, it's time, time to make a choice. choice. Satan may beckon you, but God is calling, my child, my child, please come home. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end, and he is calling out to you. Come home, he says. My children, please come home. Here we go. Your world is based off of frequencies and electromagnetic energy. And I bet you didn't know this. Frequencies differentiate vibrational patterns and sounds. Depending on the frequency, all frequencies have a direct impact on human beings. And it is no secret that frequencies have been used as a directed energy weapon and is still being used today. You just, you just didn't, didn't realize, realize it. it. I mean, how could you? Frequencies affect the entire world around you, damaging, destroying, and also tuning you in to a different frequency where you don't belong. Like the airways of the radio tuning you into your least favorite station, or one that's only static, as your mind slowly becomes static within itself. And now this is when one actually reaches their point of slumber, a slumber you never even knew you were in. And now, on to your next truth that should jolt you in to an awakening. Now I want you to watch very, very closely as I count backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now what do you see in this picture? Look closely. Do you see just a small handful of men in the setting of an early 1800s era? Do you? And looking as though they just dug something out. Where's all the heavy equipment? Just look at the details. A horse and buggy and primitive men standing next to a building of such grand architecture? Really? And in what would have been a very unpopulated area at that time. It sure doesn't look like any history that I've been taught. In my social conditioning classes, that is. Because that's what they were. And, and that's, that's what they, what they still, still are. are. Raise your hand before speaking. Don't speak unless spoken to. Read that book. Then read it again. And I want to hear all about this country that we told you it was. Come to the ring of the bell. Go to the ring of the bell. You are not pardoned yet. You must sit down. Wake up. Go to sleep. Wake up. 
do it again. Gotta work, work at the almighty, the almighty dollar. dollar. Gotta make the money to live. But you're never, but you're free, never in this free in this country. You never were and you never will be unless you stand up and you make that change. Now on my count, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you awake? Open, Open your, your eyes. eyes. Come on, we're counting on you. Don't let them, don't win. Let them win. There's too There's much, too at, much stake. at stake. Hurry, hurry, you've got to hurry. Gotta hurry. Can't you see? Can't you see? It's, it's right, right in, in your, your face. face. You think I'm crazy? Huh? Is that what he told you? Well, listen up. There is a storm coming like nothing you have ever seen. And not a one of you is prepared for it. be feeding on it this is the food that you store up right now you store up until you're so strong in faith nothing can shake you I know many of you have realized that the world has drastically changed. Everything that we grew up knowing about the world or what we were taught all seemingly lies. What I'd like to say right here and right now is that we all know that every moment in our lives can affect us in different ways. Now I find myself just trying to understand. All we were asked to do is just trust. Trust in the system. Trust in the indoctrination. Handed down from generation to generation. Just in the fact that you can't think for yourself and you can't speak for yourself. They don't want you to talk. They want you to listen. When this moment happens. Ask you, Lord, to convey that message through my lips. Sanctify me. There'd be nothing that can hinder the flow of the Holy Spirit. We ask you for a demonstration of the Holy Ghost and power. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you manifest yourself in the course of this message, I pray. Amen.